Hi everyone, welcome to Awesome Math. Today we will be demonstrating the law of cosines using vectors. The law of cosines states that for a triangle of lengths A, B, and C, with angle theta between them, length of one side squared equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus two times the product of the sides times the cosine of the angle between them. We'll demonstrate this using vectors by first writing the triangle as a vector, starting from the origin, A is a vector, B is a vector, and let's see how we can write C as a vector. Well, if we just add A and B, we would get a vector that will be somewhat over here using the ordinary tail to tip method, which would not help us. So we'll consider what happens if we subtract A and B. This is just a vector that looks like this, minus a vector that looks like this which, upon using the tail-to-tip method, we have A over here, we have a minus B over here, we'll have something like this, which, as you notice, completes the triangle quite well, indicates that the arrow should point this way. It goes from B to A, if you subtract A and B, to take in Electrodynamics, this will be intimately familiar to you. In order to prove this, it will just follow from some elementary properties of vectors. In particular, the only ones that we'll need are these. A magnitude of a vector squared is equal to the vector dotted into itself, and two vectors dotted into each other is simply the magnitude of the two vectors times the cosine of the angle between them. You can already see how this looks pretty similar to our result. Okay, we'll start off by computing c squared to be magnitude of a minus b squared, which is just a minus b dotted into itself. Just for clarity here, we'll go ahead and label c is equal to a minus b. Just so we're all clear about what we're doing here. All right, we have two a's make a squared, two b's make b squared. We have minus two times the cross terms, which commute since they're just vectors. a squared plus b squared minus two times the cross terms, two a dot b. Go ahead and use a formula down here. Just a squared plus b squared minus two a b cosine theta. Exactly what we wanted. Note, if we wanted to do theta equals pi over 2, it would tell us that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, or the Pythagorean theorem for a triangle of vector that looks like this, a, b, c, as follows. And this is just the good old Pythagorean theorem. Note that it's much simpler than any other elementary proof that you've seen without using vectors. This is why it's my preferred method to indicate the law of cosines. And if you enjoyed this, want to see more, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.